Well guys, welcome back to another video. This year, I'm gonna be teaming up with Thermopane uh, to take a closer look at their range of thermometers they have. Now we're all familiar with, hold on. We're all more than familiar with the Thermopane. Uh, I've been talking about it for years on the channel. And if you don't have one by now, you probably should. Uh, they're the best thermometer out there. But I do want to take a closer look at the rest of the range. And today we're actually going to look at something that I wasn't aware there was a range of, and that is their different probes. So these are the different probes that fit the Pro series of thermometers. So that starts with the dot, um, and then it goes up through the blue dot uh, into something like the Thermopane Smoke, uh, right up to the Thermopane Signals. And they all have the same connections on the side of them. Uh, so you can interchange any of these probes to fit into them. Now my typical setup would always have been one meat thermometer and one ambient one. So this is the ambient probe and then this is the meat one I would tend to always use, uh, which is their angled one. But there are two others here uh, that I wasn't aware of. Um, this one has similar functionality. This one surprised me, but we'll talk about it at the end. So if you've bought one of their probes in the past, you may already have some of these. So if we start with the Thermopen Dot and the Thermopen Blue, both come with the straight penetration probe. Uh, once you move up then to the smoke, uh, that comes with the angled penetration probe and the ambient air probe. I think the signals also comes with these and one of these as well. So um, those are your more common ones. Um, this one isn't included with anything, but it's a nice optional extra. So we might as well start off with the, the meat probes themselves. So this uh, angled penetration one and the straight one have very similar functionality. Both of them are designed to go into the deepest part of the meat uh, and take a temperature. They can read temperatures up to 300 degrees C. Um, they also come with this like, stainless steel braided cable. Uh, it's 1.2 meters long, and then they all have that pro connector on the end. Now, the cable itself is heat resistant and it's rated for 370 C. So uh, if it gets lit by a little bit of flame in the barbecue, it should be fine. So if you ever get your hands on these, you can tell they're good quality cables. They're not gonna uh, let you down in a hurry. Take the end off. Both of these probes feature the same uh, size of probe. They are approximately the same length. The angled one is a little bit bigger, um, which is handy. We'll talk about that in a little second. Uh, but they both have a very similar thermocouple on the end. So this is the part that takes the reading. This here just protects all the innards of it. This is the important part here. Uh, so you want that right in the deepest part of your meat. And these are nice long probes. So if you have a big joint of meat, um, you can push these in, get them right into the center. I have used different brand probes in the past where the penetration probes are a similar size to this. And if you've got a big joint of meat, that is not getting anywhere near the middle of the meat. So that's what I've always liked about the Thermopen ones is they're nice and long. Now, both of these are relatively interchangeable. Uh, if you had one, you might not necessarily need the other. However, this one is about maybe an inch and a half longer uh, and it also has this bend at the end. So if that is pushed right into the center of the meat, it's nice and easy to grab the hold of this and pull it out. Whereas if this one's in, you're gonna be grabbing sort of around this wire and you don't wanna do any damage to it. So again, nice to have. If this is in a smaller cut of meat, you don't want a lot of it sticking out either. It can get in the way of the lid. So um, nice option to have both of them. So with both of those then, we're gonna move on to the ambient probe. So whilst these ones are designed to go into the meat and actually take a temperature inside the meat and tell you when your meat's done, this one is designed then to keep an eye on the ambient temperature within your barbecue or oven, but we're all using barbecues in this channel. So it comes with this little grate clip. Um, this just squeezes together, sits onto the barbecue, and then that allows you to push the probe. So you can see there's no point on the end of this. This is designed to sit into this little clip and that holds it up off the grate so it's not getting any readings from the grate itself, it's actually the air temperature it's taking. And because that's down on the same level as your food is cooking, uh, you're getting a more accurate temperature. No matter how good the thermometer on the hood of your barbecue is, there's always gonna be a slight difference between that and the uh, level at your grate level. Heat obviously rises and it sort of gathers up in the well of that lid and that's where your hood thermometer generally is. So there might be something blocking the heat from getting to that thermometer and giving you a slightly false reading. So usually it's good to have both. You can read the hood thermometer, but then this here keeps an eye on it for you. Now it also comes with the 1.2 meter uh, braided cable. Again, rated it up to 370C. And then the clips include it and again the Pro Series one, so it fits into any thermometer. So you could effectively put it into something like the dot if you just want to monitor the pit temperature, if you're not really worried about the internal temperature of the meat. I'm not sure that's entirely what you would use it for. So one of these will generally work in conjunction with one of the meat thermometers. Um, so they're a nice one to have. Again, this comes with the signals and the thermopane smoke, but you can buy it aftermarket then if you want to use it on something like the dot or the blue dot. So I'll clear these off to the side because 
Now we're going to talk about the star of the show that I did not know existed and since I have used it, I absolutely love it. And that is this. This is the mini needle. Now, it's hard to tell from this distance, but I'll put some shots in and I will compare it to the straight probe. It is almost the same length, maybe about half an inch shorter, but this is a really fine, thin needle thermometer, whereas this one is slightly thicker. I would say it's easily double the, the thickness of this one. So this one here is designed for use in smaller cuts. Now, not all of our barbecue is gonna be big cuts of meat, big uh, roasts or briskets, any of that kind of stuff. A lot of the time we're cooking steaks, chicken, pork, fish, maybe not fish for me, but fish for some people. So that is what Thermopane came up with then for this one. So this is for sort of more delicate foods. You can easily fit that into the middle of quite a thin steak and get an accurate reading for it. Um, it's nice and long, so it can go into, if it's a, a bigger piece of meat, but it's still quite thin, you can still get an accurate reading on it. It's not gonna leave a big hole through the middle of the meat either. I remember taking photos of like, pork loins and things like that I used to cook, and whenever you push something like this through it, every slice has a hole right through the middle of it, and plus it doesn't affect the taste of the food. If you're somebody like me that takes photographs of it, it doesn't look great. So I was super intrigued whenever I seen this one, and this is probably one I will use more often than I will use any of these. So it also has a 1.2 meter cable, but this one is actually moisture resistant as well. So Thermopen say you can actually use this if you do the likes of sous vide. Um, it's not gonna come to any harm. It's also heat resistant as well, so still safe to use on the barbecue. I have used it and it's been fine. But the accuracy you can get when placing this into the middle, it's still a nice long probe, so you can still get it in deep enough, uh, but you're not fighting with it getting too close to the surface on one side. I think this is a genius little probe. Now, this one doesn't come as standard with any of the thermometers. I guess these are probably your more general use ones. Um, so they want to put one in there that will do large roasts and smaller roasts, but you can get it uh, as an additional one then. So I will leave links for all of these below. But I think it's clever that between these four probes, they have kind of covered every circumstance. So like I mentioned, you can use uh, the Thermopen dot and monitor your meat with one of these thermometers, or you can just monitor your pit temperature with one of these. If you're just doing a quick stick, you can stick the needle into it, throw it on there. You're never going to overshoot um, because you can set a quick alarm on here whenever you're approaching your temperature and uh, the alarms on these are nice and loud. So that can constantly monitor the internal temperature. From experience using it, I found it to be much more accurate a read than some of these that are slightly thicker and very hard to get right into the middle. This one's uh, a little bit more keyhole surgery like. But then the other use case, if you have two grills you're on and you want to monitor the temperature of them wirelessly, you can get something like the Thermopen Smoke, put two of the ambient pit probe temperature probes onto it. Pit probe temperature probes, that was a mouthful. Uh, put two of the ambient probes onto it, uh, run one into each barbecue, and uh, that way you can take the little receiver from this, uh, take it into the house, and you can monitor the temperature of both barbecues at the same time. Now, if they're not quite close enough together for the 1.2 meter cables, you can buy an extra like one meter extension lead for these, uh, which still fits the same thing. Um, so you can have them, what's that, up to, nearly four meters apart, which is fine for most shacks. I could probably do both Kamado Joes I have here, no problem. So if you're interested in any of them, I will leave links for every single one of them below, uh, as long with all the actual thermometers they can go with. Um, I always say, no matter what leave-in probe you're using, these are incredibly accurate, but these only read one part of the meat. So I always tend to keep the thermal pen on hand then as my kind of backup check. So once this alarm goes off, tells me it's ready, I'll pull this out, go into a few different spots in the meat and just make sure the doneness is correct the whole way through it. But these are only gonna make your job a lot easier. So links for everything will be in the description box below uh, over to the thermal pen website. Uh, if you have any questions about them, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.